Well, hello everyone. Welcome to like a really special episode on the Massey Art Studios channel. But today's episode is all about this lovely lady right here and it's Tanya Mott. Say hello to Hi. Tanya Mott, everyone. Hey Tanya. Thank you so hey. much for agreeing to be here on the channel and allowing me the chance to introduce you to the YouTube's world. Yes, that's a whole new world to me. <laughs> it is a whole new world to you. Um, yeah. Anyone out there that follows Tanya currently, you'll be very much used to seeing her on Facebook, which is absolutely yeah. prevalent and on Instagram too. But we really wanted Tanya to join us in this premiere train. So here you are. Tanya, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been creating? How long have you been selling? How long have you been painting? Well, I've been creating all my life, but as a painter selling my art, it's been about five years. Um, I started pre-pandemic doing alcohol ink on glass, and then it kind of migrated with a client wanted something poor painted. And I had fought the urge for a long time. And I'm like, okay, I gotta give the client what she wants. So I'm like, I'll do it this one time. And I became instantly addicted. Instantly obsessed. I love yeah, that. I, literally. There's a few of us out there that are also, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I think, and we're going to have a gathering in Las Vegas and you're going to be surrounded by people who are also obsessed. Yes, it's, that's it's what I'm so big, excited about. I know, right? It's going to be amazing. It genuinely is one of the most amazing things about the events is just getting to see and be around all these people that just share the passion. You're in Michigan. Have you been Correct. to Vegas before? Um. Actually, I used to do scrapbooking. Okay. I used I was I was published in magazines of books for my scrapbook pages. Wow. I would teach at a, a, a store um, when I lived in Clarkston, and she invited me one year to go to the scrapbook market, which wow. happened to be in Vegas. Amazing. I think I've heard of that market. There are all the people that have mentioned those kind of scrapbook conventions to me as well. They're also. Yes suitably filled with obsessed people as well. So yes. mm -hmm. super cool. Well, I love Vegas, so I'm excited to see you there as well. Tell me what it is that you're pouring today for the raffle piece for everyone. Well, I did the background in Pompous, as I think I used. Um, I just love the color shift of it. Right. And, you know, the different effects it has depending on your viewpoint. And I, of course, did my hot glue gun technique. And of course, it includes a dragonfly. That is my trademark, after all. Right. Almost every painting has a dragonfly. Love that. Okay, and I've seen the end result already, so I know that this is a stunner. One lucky person is gonna get the chance to win this in the raffle at the end of PORCON. So yeah, this is really amazing. We've got some footage of Tanya creating her piece. So um, let me hand it over to Tanya and let's watch this wonderful creation being created. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, the moment you've all been waiting for. Watch me see my glue gun work. A lot of you want me to video. I'm going to tell you one of the reasons why I don't is because I am a hot mess. I go from one painting to the next without cleaning up in between and you can say it's a little overwhelming now so what I did is I downloaded this off of a Shutterstock um, you can buy a monthly subscription and they're all royalty free images and then I put it in my word on the computer size it to what I want and then print it on my computer uh, my printer. Then I have a piece of glass that I had cut just to the hardware store at 16 by 20, I believe. Um, that way I can have do really big pieces or really little pieces. So one of the most important things to remember when you're working with the glue gun is never let the tip touch the glass. Um, so I'm just going to start doing what I do. I probably won't be talking that much because I have to concentrate. What I like to do sometimes is run my glue gun back over the wet lines and kind of catch those glue strings 
Um, I know those are pesky little buggers. Sometimes when I do up, I'm not happy with the line. This is just a wood carving tool that I got at Dollar Tree. But I don't like that one, it's a little too thick. So I'll just cut it. And this is why I do it on glass first. If there's something I don't like, I can just cut it away and start over. Well, I'm not going to bore you with too much more of this. You get the idea. This outline will probably take me about a half an hour to do. Um, then what I'll do is I'll spray it down with my rubbing alcohol. I use 70% um, rubbing alcohol. Let it soak for a minute and then I just pry it off the glass with my wood grain tool. I'll be back. So now the fun part begins, taking it off the glass. Spray it with the 70% rubbing alcohol. I had sprayed some earlier on it too, and let it sit there for a while and soak. And that helps the lines come off so much easier. So here we go. Here are my glue lines of my owl. Dry it off a little bit. Because the next thing I do is I take my torch. And you got to be quick because it will melt the glue. And I just very quickly... Go over my glue lines. I get rid of those pesky glue strings. And there you go. So next thing I'm going to do is grab my painting, which is right here, all nice and dry. And I'm going to decide where I want him. So I'm thinking of, I'm going to be adding a branch with some maple leaves. Put the owl upside down. Get some spray glue. Um, about to fill in the owl. Um, first thing I did off camera is I colored in the branch. I use um, Craft Smart Copper, and then I take this Deco Art Media Antiquing Cream to give that a little bit of an age effect on the branch. Um, today I'm going to be using. Um, TLP Cinnamon uh, and TLP S'mores, um, a little bit of TLP Syrah, a Deco Art Oyster Pearl, Deco Art Rich Espresso, and for the leaves I'm using Azteca. Bewitched Autumn Red. It's a brown into red color shift. So, I actually what I do is I just take the paint right out of my tubes and squeeze it right in between the glue lines. Okay, I know I need to mix more cinnamon. So I need to 
just kind of swirl it around to the edge. I'll come back towards the end and show you what the final look wet looks like. Be back soon. All right, so the last part before I clear coat it is coloring the glue lines. My preferred pen choice is Deco Color Premium um, Gold. It's an oil-based pen. And just I like this one because it's chisel tipped so you can kind of get right into the corners because this has a 3d element on it I prefer to use a spray varnish to finish it off um, I mainly use rust-oleum crystal clear spray Sometimes I'll use matte, sometimes I'll use satin, but most of the time I use the, the gloss because the, the paints shimmer more. And then I'll do two coats of the clear coat. And the final thing is I'll touch up the gold again when I'm done. Voila, just a few more to color in and it is done. How amazing, what a beautiful piece. Thank you, Tanya, for showing that to us all. Tanya, what are you most excited about, about Porcon? It's actually, meeting everybody that I see on Facebook on a daily basis. Um, being able to show my technique, help people with the technique, but it's really just hanging out with everybody. Right. That's what I'm really it's excited about. Amazing. You're going to get to meet people whose names you've seen on your Facebook pages, you know, for years and years and years. It's going to be so much fun. I, for one, cannot wait to meet you and give you a big hug. And I'm sure there's a few hundred thousand people out there that are exactly the same. Thousand? Um, yeah. <laughs> and I've seen your Facebook pages. I know all about it. Um, tell me if I were to want to try and find you, if I'd never seen Tanya Munt before, where do I go? I'm on Facebook as Crafts and Sass and by the same name on Instagram as well. Fantastic. Now, I will link that in the description box on the YouTube channel right here for you so you don't have to go looking for it. So if anyone isn't following Tanya already, please go click on those links. That's it. If you haven't booked PawCon just yet, you've still got time. Go to www.pawcon.com. Tanya is going to be teaching 3D embellishments. I suggest yes. you book those classes before they sell out because if they haven't already, they will do. And um, Tanya and I will absolutely see you in Vegas, August the 6th through the 9th. Tanya, thank you for being thank here. You, I appreciate you so much for sticking with me and doing this. And um, yeah, get ready for some big hugs from me in August. Can't wait. We'll see you guys soon. Please follow on to the next person in the train. And um, yeah, have a great day, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye.